Hello and welcome back to another Understand Your Buy video. In this video, we're looking at neologisms. So what are they? Well, a neologism is a fancy term for just creating a new word. That's it. And in the example here, you can see where the word neologism itself actually comes from. So neo, meaning new in Greek, and logos, meaning word or speech in Greek, becomes neologism. How does it work? Well, creating a new word for your business product or service can make things much, much easier when it comes to things like securing a domain name and not having trademark issues. Creating a whole new word means that you get to define what that word means and you get to own a particular space. It's possible to create a new word like Xerox, for example, that can then become eponymous it can become the thing so in america people don't make copies they xerox things xerox was not a word until the xerox company created that word it is by definition a neologism so how can you use it well this is most relevant when it comes to naming your business product or service creating a new word that's going to convey your offering that's going to help you to become well known in your space and for me in particular when you create a new word for something a new name it has to be easy to read write speak and spell those are some really important characteristics because even the term itself here ironically neologism you kind of flinch when pronouncing that because you're not sure it's a bit of an unusual one so when you're creating a new word there's lots of different ways you can do that. You can use a portmanteau, which is what's happening here, where we take one word and another word, so neo and logos, and they splice them together. But when you create a new word, you've really got to pay attention to making it easy to read, write, speak, and spell. So that's a neologism. When you create a new word or coin a new phrase, it's known as a neologism. Well, that's it for another Understand Your Buyer video. And if you like this kind of stuff, then you'll definitely like the book, which you can buy at understandyourbuyer.com.